time. Let me just suggest something before we start. I look like this, yeah, because I went on holiday and my face got dark. <laughs> and now my foundation doesn't like match my skin colour. So we're just gonna have to work with this today. Stay, but I have to go Cause I would not expect someone to stay If I let them know Hi guys, it's your girl Brie Back at you with another video So, today is a more serious, 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 serious Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Basically, this is the tea I am going to be telling you guys my story yeah, all well, the horrible gruesome things that I have had to deal with from the age of 10 but how it's made me a better person and how I am, who I am today. The aim of this video is to help other people like young people like me or younger that are going through things that they don't want to talk about and I want to make everyone feel like this is a safe place, like you can talk to me about things because I promise you I will, I will understand. I'm a very understanding person, I've been through so much myself. Like I know that like everyone has their own problems, everyone has things going on. Like some people might even have it worse than me, like you never know because people are just so quiet about it. But with me, like I like to get things out and what is just I like to get things like out in the open. Like I like people to know everything because I feel like people just judge me by the way that I look and the way that I act but there's always so many other reasons but like the way that I act, the way that I am, how I am now, do you know what I mean? So yeah, if you don't want to hear about my life and like everything then just click off it but make sure to like, comment and, sus like, comment, and subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up leave comments give me video ideas and yeah let's get into the video okay the first thing like i've had to deal with as a teen growing up from well not even a teen like, as a child obviously i got bullied in school i got bullied from year two all the way up to year 10 i think yeah that it was like the whole of the school year school years and like, I ain't gonna sit here and say like I was perfect because I did think to provoke people but look it got to the point where it got too far do you know what I mean and like you know when like everything just builds up and like you're just alone and it's just not nice and everything just looks like it's crashing down and like there's no way out like, like that's the point that I got to basically and like it took me to like a dark part dark part of yeah like it wasn't really nice so due to all that like when i was 15 i got diagnosed with bipolar disorder depression and also social anxiety so imagine having to live with all three going to school every single day to get things thrown at you your stuff thrown in the bin pushed people saying nasty things to you yeah getting laughed at when you're walking through the classrooms getting laughed at when you're walking through the playground like imagine all that it, it wasn't nice it was horrible and there was a point where i stopped going to school for a whole year because i couldn't do it i couldn't do it anymore and like it led me to do stuff that you just wouldn't want to do do you know what i mean like i ain't even gonna sit here and shy about it like i, I nearly took my own life i got put into a mental hospital for a bit like it actually messes with your head when people feel like they're so much better than you feel like they can push you to the curve we gotta be stronger than that you gotta make we gotta make them understand that they ain't got anything over yeah and like when i look back at it now like i'm 19 years old like i'm nearly 20 do you know what i mean like i'm grown now like i'm not a child anymore so that's why i'm able to sit here and talk about being like this because it doesn't bother me anymore because i am such a strong person now than what i was about five years ago you get me i'd let anyone walk all over me push me down say everything i believe everything everyone was saying but i can't do it now i won't do it like i don't stand for bullying i can't tolerate it do you know what i mean so when i see someone picking on someone or saying something about someone or what they wear how they look but where they live like i just won't i can't sit there and let someone get treated like absolute shit 
when we're all queens and we're all kings, you know what I mean? We're all individuals, we're all the same. No one's better than anyone. Yeah, someone's upbringing might be better. They might have more money than you. They might have more expensive clothes than what you have, but we're all the same people. You get me? And no one deserves to be treated any less than anyone else. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. So I was diagnosed with bipolar, anxiety and depression. I had to type tablets for my depression every single day and for my bipolar. And anxiety, it just follows me everywhere. But there's little things that I do that everyone notices, but I only do it because I be anxious all the time. So like, there's like one thing that everyone clocks onto. Like, I'll bite my finger and then I'll sniff my hands. But like, I'll do that when like, I'm just, Say like, if I'm just sitting there on my phone and like there's loads of people around or like it could just be a couple of people in the room and everyone's just silent, it makes me anxious. So I'll just sit there and bite my nose and I'll end up like sniffing my feet. But like it is just a habit, do you know what I mean? Like, and like, I have really bad OCD. Like I have to double check things like three times. So like the front door, if I have to lock it, I'll go around three times to check it's locked. I have to make sure that everything's clean before I go to bed. So, like, if I come home from work and my bag's full from work when I've took everything with me or something, and it's midnight, I am not going to bed until my bag is clean and everything's where it's supposed to be. I've had a shower, I've had, had a, I put my clothes on, I've ironed my clothes for the next day. I'm not going to sleep until I do that because I can't. It's really, really bad. I just can't. Um, what else comes with my, like, with me? Like, I don't know. Like, I just do things that just ain't normal. <laughs> like, I, I get looked at most of the time. Like, I'm just, I'm just different. Like, but things like that, though, don't bother me. Because it's like, it makes me, like, a better person. Like, I don't really know, like, where all this came from. Like, falling into depression. Bipolar, yeah, that's that was probably obvious from when I was younger because I used to do, I used to lash out and I'd used to be fine after five minutes and then I'd lash out again. Like it was crazy. Like when I was growing up, like we didn't, me and my sister and my older sister, we never had the best upbringing, do you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't nothing to do with my mum, no, no, my mum was amazing. My mum was amazing with us and she still is amazing. She's my queen. But obviously, we never had much money because my mum, she was a single parent. She was looking after the two of us. She'd go to work full time and we was brought up in London. So like, you can imagine how expensive it was to even pay rent for a house every single month. It was like, like a grand a month. It was crazy, do you know what I mean? Like it was hard for her. So like, like there was times where we ended up losing our houses and like we'd live in hostels or, do you know what I mean? Like we was like, we was always, all over the place because it was just hard you know what i mean so when i grew up like it wasn't like the easiest upbringing like i never used to have everything i used to see people with everything that i didn't have or things that i knew i would never get but i would never down for my mum for that because she tried her hardest and she actually succeeded she brought up like well there's five of us now but she's brought us up to be really 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 managed out and she's brought us up to me like she's done a good job with us bringing us all up we've all got our downfalls but i would never ever fault my mum for everything there was just things that like probably like scarred me for life like things that i don't want to say but things that happened do you know what i mean and as to why like i reacted in a certain way i had behavior problems i could probably still have anger issues now but like, the moral of this is just, you're not on your own. Like I've, I've gone through everything on my own. Like I've never had friends that stayed forever. I've never had people that actually cared. Guys, I had to cut the camera for a minute. What was I saying? Yeah, so like I never really had a lot of friends. Like I've never had any friends growing up. So like the people that I did have, they didn't stick around for long. Like the people that I trusted in and did everything with and was with them all the time, they just they didn't stay around. So like I understand when people say like, oh, they're alone, they feel alone because 
I've been there before and know how it feels, but I promise you, you're not alone. Look, I'm here to listen to anyone. I will literally sit there and listen to anyone's problems and I will give you the best advice because I know. Do you know what I mean? <coughs> I don't know everything. Like, I'm not bloody, like, the smartest person up there, but, like, I know how it feels to feel a certain way. Like, I know how it is when you're fighting with depression. I know how it is when you've got anxiety, bipolar and all that. Like, I understand, you get me? And I feel like I'm just misunderstood sometimes. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm alone most of the time. Like, it's fine to feel like that, though. Like, I'd rather be on my own than surrounded by people that don't really care. Surrounded by people that are just there to do things to make themselves look better, themselves to feel good, because, like, I can't have people around me that ain't 100 to me, do you know what I'm saying? And I'm, like... One of the most fearless people out here, like I've grown up, like I know what's wrong, I know what's right. I know I did a few things in the past that I shouldn't have done, but I've learned from that now, do you know what I mean? But like, I just learned to forget, but I don't forgive. I don't forgive anyone that ever hurt me in a way where like it caused me to want to hurt myself. But through all of that, it's literally taught me to be your own best friend. Like, you have to love, le learn to love yourself before anyone else can do it. And you have to be your own best friend. And everything that you go through, your past, that's what makes you who you are today. So that's why I'm not ashamed of who I am or who I was. Like, I'm so proud of myself. Like, I've come so far. And I know there's so many of you out there that are going through the same thing or have been through the same thing. And I promise you, it does get better. And I know when people say that, you're like, oh, yeah, well, when? Because better hasn't come yet. It's been going on for so long. And, like, my life's horrible and it's just not working. But I promise you, it does get better because I was there. I was at that point where I wanted to give up. But I have so much going for me right now. And I'm so proud that I've gone through what I've gone through to know what I know now. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, so this is my story and this is who I am and I'm proud of it. I ain't an angel, I'm not a saint, but I'm also not a devil and I'm not someone that deserves to be treated like crap and neither are you guys, honestly. But yeah, thank you for taking the time to listen to my story and I would love to hear you guys' stories. So DM me with anything that you want to talk about, add my Snapchat, text me. I want to hear everything. Honestly, I'm here for you guys. And I just want you guys to know that I love you all. And thank you for supporting me on my TikTok and with this. Thank you for helping me grow, getting there. Well, we're not growing because I ain't, I'm the one that's bloody stalling. But hopefully we'll get somewhere soon. And I'm just thankful for, the, for everyone that's actually there to support me now. That's got my back in that really really shows that they can it's really really heartwarming and i really appreciate all of you guys but yeah thank you for taking the time to watch my video today make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel follow my tiktok add all my social medias and i'm i've been saying this for so long but i promise you the next video it will be something that you really want to watch <laughs> but until next time Hold it guys and I'll see you soon. Stay, but I have to go. Cause I would not expect someone to stay.